So. And there are no rules. There's yeah. only the outline version of the rules, which is at least one a day and read the whole list every day. That's the, that's the motor. Where you take the drive to is up to you. But the motor runs on one a day at least and read the whole list every day. Um, an entertaining little footnote to this might be, every once in a while, read the list out loud. <laughs> See what that does to the whole process. Um, another entertaining <laughs> footnote might be, someday read it to someone else. But we're not there yet. Maybe by the end of the month you'll be willing to do that. And if you find yourself having a completely different reaction to a trigger that was earlier in the month, you can add that to your list for the day that you realize it. Like, I find myself healed of the trigger of blah, 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 blah. Or I have transformed my experience of needing to control. Right? You want to encourage yourself as well and mark or note the uh, milestones, the milestones you reach. The purpose or the um, point of all this is to reinforce in you the progress you're making. That's the point of this. Is so you see your progress. Because we think what happens is you're all transforming so quickly that you spend a lot of time triggered. <laughs> and we want you to see that you actually are healing and getting new triggers sometimes. It's not just, oh God, I'm so screwed up. It's quite different from that. So this is to help you become more conscious. This is to help you see your progress. This is to help you heal and transform triggers. This is to help you grow, and this is to help you harness the energies of August for the highest good within your life. Questions about the tool? Guess we explained it well. You think you do it? Yeah. Yes. Just remember, you deserve the time it takes. You'd give it to somebody else in a heartbeat. You would. You'd give that time to somebody else in a heartbeat. What about taking it for yourself? What, are there another 25 days left in the month? You deserve it. You deserve a chance to see how amazing you have done in the, I, in the act of becoming conscious, the progress you've made, the healing you've done. Because you don't have exams, and you, because you don't have graduation, and because no one gives you a gold star, and you have to do all those things for yourself, it can be very easy just to go from challenge to challenge to challenge to challenge. And there's no place where you go, whoa, that was good, because usually what happens is you go, are we stopped? That sucks. Go, go, go. We will point fingers about that one if we have to. Mm -hmm. And the truth is, is that when you stop, you're not typically enjoying the progress you've made. You're uh, thinking something's broken because you're not going 100%, you know, full bore, full bore ahead. So it's the, even the stopping times aren't those times when you go, yeah, I got that right. I feel good about how I handled that. Wow, that trigger doesn't activate me anymore. Because you're all so busy growing that you're just looking for the next thing. Give me that next trigger. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on. And you don't say that necessarily, not out loud, not all of you. But your experiences of the world are that way. Because you all, on a somewhat conscious but primarily unconscious level, recognize how close you are to ascension. Really how close you are. How much of your list has been checked off? How much of your closet's been cleaned out? And those last things 
although sometimes it feels like you're the gladiator thrown in the ring with the tiger and the lion and the bear, you still go, well, I'll just do my best. And here's an opportunity to harness some powerfully transformational energetics and to congratulate yourselves. And it'll be very interesting and what we would love to experience if you're feeling open to it at the end of the month or even next week if you find this is just to hear you say, you know, I was really fired up about XYZ. It triggered me and then I learned what it was and now I feel comfortable with that. Or now I don't even know why I wrote that on my list. I couldn't figure out why that bothered me. Then don't go looking for why it bothered mm -hmm. you. Just let that be okay. All right? Thank you for that. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. And you know, we talked last night also about the idea that um, once this process concludes, once this August thing goes, September is going to be all about finally drawing those boundaries and setting up consequences. Because this process is going to clean and refine your experience of yourself to a point where you know you deserve it with no uncertainty. And when you know you deserve it with no uncertainty, you can set boundaries without fear. And when you set boundaries without fear, the consequences, it doesn't matter which way the person goes. And that's really your birthright. And that's coming. That's the, that's the payoff whatever word you like but the the path to that is this journey we've just described <laughs>